Android TV sucks. My Android TV sucks. Your Android TV sucks, and everyone's Android TV sucks. But why is the Android TV experience so bad? The answer is simple. Most Android TVs just have bad specs. See, these are some of the popular Android TVs in India, and all of these have low-end quad-core chipsets. For example, featuring Cortex A55 cores. To give you an idea, Cortex A55 cores are used as efficiency cores in chipsets like the Helio G85. These TVs also have low RAM, low storage, and it's not just mid-range TVs. Even the higher-end Android TVs don't have very good specs. So it's obviously not a surprise that Android TVs don't perform the best because the specs are just too low-end. I mean, I've always been an Android TV user, and I've been tired of Android TV's issues. So you know what? I fix things, and I'm going to show you the steps you can take to do the same. So I'm going to show you how you can speed up performance on your Android TV, how you can get rid of the bloatware, how you can stop spammy recommendations. Now I'm going to start with speeding up the performance because that's the biggest problem in Android TVs. So there are basically four Android TV settings that you need to change to boost up the performance. So number one, the first thing you need to do on your Android TV is go to settings and enable developer options. It's the same process as on your Android phone. Device preferences, about, hit the build number multiple times, keep hitting, and it's done. Developer options is here. Now, once you're in the developer options, there are four settings that make a big, big impact. Trust me, these are super useful. The first thing you need to do is scroll down in developer options and adjust the animation speed. So you can completely turn it off, which does speed things up. But I prefer setting it to 0.5x because any UI without animations looks a bit clunky, and this also speeds things up. Now, I know this is something that we used to do on our Android phones years back, but a lot of people don't know that this option is available in Android TVs. The next thing you should do is set the maximum number of open tasks in the background. So I've set it to two on my Android TV, and it has been a lot more responsive than before. See, there's no multitasking in Android TV, and all of these TVs have low RAM. So rather than many apps taking up RAM, slowing things down, this will make sure that only two apps are using the RAM at most. Now this frees up a lot of RAM, and yeah, speeds things up. Number three, another option in developer options that a lot of people say makes their Android TVs faster is use GPU for 2D rendering. Just enable this, and things start to feel more responsive. The next option to change is not in developer options. Instead, you will find it here in the settings. I'm talking about usage diagnostics and location tracking. Turning this off makes the performance better because these services just keep running in the background, taking up RAM and CPU resources. So yeah, turn this off. Now, all of these options combined do make the Android TV experience faster. I mean, here's a before and after of the TV, and you will notice that after changing these options, the scrolling is faster, app launches are quicker, everything feels more responsive and smooth. So these steps definitely work, and they should make your Android TV faster. But I know a lot of people are also annoyed with the recommendations on the home screen. So Android TVs recently got this new home screen that brings recommendations, and not everyone likes it. In fact, some people also blame this for making the TV slower. Now, if you're using a Google TV dongle or Google TV TV, there should be an app-only mode that removes all the recommendations. As for other Android TV users, you can go to Apps and Settings and scroll all the way down and, and tap on Show System Apps. Now look for Android TV Home, basically the launcher, and when you find it, just uninstall all its updates. Now that's all. You'll get the old Android TV Home screen back with only the apps. Now do make sure to go to the Play Store settings and enable Do Not Auto Update apps. This is important. Now that is a good way if you want to get rid of these spammy recommendations on the Android TV launcher. But if you're not a big fan of the Android TV launcher altogether, you can use an open source and clean launcher like F Launcher. See, F Launcher is available on the Play Store, and you can use Button Mapper to set the Home button to open F Launcher by default. You can also properly remove the Android TV launcher and set F Launcher as the default launcher with these ADB commands. Don't worry, I'll leave a link to this below. Now this is what the F launcher looks like. It has a very clean UI with the focus only on apps. No recommendations, nothing. It's all smooth and responsive, and I like the fact that it is customizable. You can create categories, move apps around, and do a lot more. Moving on, Android TVs obviously come with bloatware. In fact, some updates bring bloatware. Yeah, it's like that on Android TV. But let me show you how you can remove bloatware on Android TVs. For example, this TCL TV comes with apps like Tcast, T Channel. Who even uses them? Now you know what Android TVs are low on storage, so removing these apps are the best way to free up storage. Now you can disable some of these apps from the settings, or you can use ADB app control to uninstall system apps from Android TV. This tool is simple to use. ADB works wirelessly. You just need to enter the TV's IP address in the app to connect the TV like this, and after this, all the apps will be listed. Now you can just select the apps you want to uninstall, select uninstall, and hit the uninstall button. You can see the apps going away one by one in the TV, right? This is super useful, and the detailed steps are in the article below. 
So basically with these steps, you can improve your Android TV experience. I mean, I've used these methods and my TV definitely feels more snappy and fast to use. There's also you no know, bloatware, which also helps in speeding things up. Trust me, you'll notice that. It's also cleaner with no recommendations. See, if you have an Android TV, you should definitely try out these steps. I think they'll help you out and improve your Android TV experience. But this is probably the best we can do. The real work has to be done by Android TV manufacturers. See, the real problem is Android TV makers aren't making any commitment to these TVs. There's no commitment in terms of updates. I mean, most Android TVs are running Android TV 9 or 10, while Android TV 12 with a lot of performance improvements has been here for quite some time. To give you an idea, the new X series of Mi TVs that launched recently come with Android TV 10. There's also no focus on bringing good specs on TVs. I mean, if you think about it, phones have good specs, latest software, maybe some bloatware. In comparison, Android TVs have bad specs, outdated software, and they also come with bloatware. Not very good. It's honestly high time Android TV manufacturers brought better TVs to the market with faster processors, more RAM, more storage, because only then we'll have a good Android TV experience. Well, I want to know how your Android TV experience has been like. Comment down below. Also, give this video a like if you agree with us on the whole Android TV debate. And yeah, share this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and this is its three cool new features. This is a titanium case. Which is